limping into the harbor of Montevideo in Uruguay comes the German pocket battleship Graf Spee to bind the wounds she received in combat. With the crew are captains of British merchant ships sunk in the four months of the Spee's career as a sea raider in the South Atlantic. For the German sailors and the Graf Spee's commander, Captain Hans Langsdorff, the first naval battle of the present European war has ended in defeat. In their encounter with three British men of war, 60 of the sailors aboard the Spee were wounded. They are being taken to hospitals in Montevideo. But 36 of their comrades rest in simple pine boxes draped with swastikas. A detachment of Marines and seamen land in Montevideo to give their dead the burial of fighting men. The coffins are loaded on trucks while the surviving seamen and Marines go in buses to the cemetery. Among the mountains of flowers is a wreath from the British sailors against whom they fought. A Uruguayan guard of honor stands at attention among the graves of Germans who died here in days of peace. Hundreds of German citizens attend the ceremonies at the grave, which are directed by the Nazi minister Otto Langmann and members of his staff. The German fighting men came unarmed to pay last tribute to their dead comrades. Captain Langsdorff watches in silence as the boys he once commanded find final peace. And 72 hours after the Graf Spee ran into port, she's headed seaward. European warfare on an American stage brings out a large audience. But the climax comes as a surprise. Flames write the end of the Graf Spee, one of the proudest ships of the German Navy. Scuttled, her sea valves opened, put to the torch by her own commander. Safely back to Buenos Aires comes the crew, after being picked up by a boat which had followed the battleship out of the harbor. Orders to scuttle their ship came from the high command in Berlin. Their careers as fighting men are over, for they are to be interned in Argentina. A thousand men originally were under the command of Captain Langsdorff, and he looks after the details of their internment as the last official act of his career. For in three days, Langsdorff is to end his own life with a bullet in his brain. Even as they are interned, their ship still blazes in the harbor. Scuttled in only 24 feet of water, the Graf Spee pushes her battered towers toward the sky as smoke and flame black out the career of the pride of the German Navy.